My name is Drew Gal, I'm a spoken word poet and rapper uh, from South Wales. I always wanted to go to Cardiff Vet when I was young. I remember going up there, I don't know, probably in school, you know, and it, as soon as I went there, I just felt like it was always a place I wanted to go. 2018 was my first graduation where I did a sports coaching undergrad. That took me to Zambia uh, in year three, and it was, as cliche as it sounds, the most life-changing and eye-opening experience of my life. And that is where I met a, an, an amazing leader who was on the, on the trip with me and he was currently doing a master's in international development. So I asked him, you know, how on earth did you decide you want to do a master's? He said he asked himself two things. One, what does he love and what makes him get out of bed in the morning? He said he loves basketball, he's a good basketball player, for example. But what made him get out of bed in the morning was making a positive impact on people's lives. So I did the same thing with me. You know, I love sport, but what makes me get out of bed in the morning is writing and making a positive impact with my words. Decided a year later to set up my Instagram and start sharing my work finally as an adult. I think when I made that decision when I was in Zambia and then I set up my Instagram a year later, my first poem I did for the 2019 Rugby World Cup, I just posted it and ITV grabbed hold of it and it got like 50,000 views and I was like, oh, okay, this is cool. And then I just, from there, I was slowly building up a profile. And then, yeah, I did a creative writing master's, so I'm here. For the award of Master of Arts in Creative Writing, Duke Al Duram. It's been the most rewarding experience, and it's the best thing I've ever done, best decision I've ever made. You know, it's a bit of a leap of faith, I guess. The biggest thing I'm going to take away from the masters is, I think, uh, resilience, probably. Just because you have to have resilience to do these things. And I've also learned how to, you know, network and do this as a job and, and find avenues and organisations to work with that, that have meaning and that are impactful. So in terms of delivering workshops or getting commissions and things like that. I have like a little slogan. So I create to relate and educate, relate to those going through certain things such as mental health, for example, because I write about, a lot about mental health. But even today, you know, relating to this amazing experience and getting a degree through COVID, for example, and then trying to educate those who don't understand certain things. And being able to share my words and people to relate to it, I think that's the most powerful thing. If somebody relates to it and they feel something from it, yeah, I love that. It's empowering. I love Cardiff Met. I, I just think it, they're so supportive. All the lecturers are extremely supportive. And I would recommend anybody go and study there.